Let's talk about golfer's elbow and tennis elbow. Now, the, both of those conditions are defined as pain felt at the elbow, either on the inside of the elbow or the outside of the elbow, and is associated with the muscles that attach to the humerus at the elbow. Now, these muscles all live in the forearm and can be largely classified into either flexors or extensors. So I've made this custom view here on our virtual cadaver. On the right side of the cadaver, I have added all of the flexor muscles. And on the left side of the cadaver, I've added all of the extensor muscles. So if we zoom in here, actually, in order to see this more clearly, I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of the ribs. If we zoom in here and take a closer look at the flexor compartment, we can see that the muscles on this side of the arm, if they were to contract, would flex the wrist and the elbow. And they all reach up and attach to the inside of the elbow on the medial epicondyle of the humerus. And this pain in this area of the elbow is largely associated with, or and is called golfer's elbow, but is also associated with other racket sports, throwing sports, people who work in construction, plumbing or carpentry, and just can happen from overuse of these muscles, can cause pain up here where they, where they attach. Conversely, on the extensor side, we can see that all of these muscles live on the back of the forearm and reach down to the back of the hand, and if they were to contract, they would extend the wrist in the hand. And they all reach up and extend to the lateral side of the humerus, you can see here. And so we call this tennis elbow because uh, playing tennis and hitting a number of backhand uh, rackets or hitting the ball can cause, would cause fatigue in these muscles and could cause pain up here where these muscles attach on the humerus here. Um, but once again, tennis players are not the only people that can fall victim to tennis elbow. Plumbers can, painters actually can, uh, carpenters, butchers, and cooks are all common professions that uh, have people suffering from tennis elbow.